Hello guys, we continue our series of building venue management and real estate management uh, project Laravel 6. This is part 6 of the series and I think there will be part number 7. I'm trying to keep those parts sh quite short, like 15 to 25 minutes, and we'll see how much we can achieve in this part. So this part is all about details of one property or one venue. This is the theme, the bootstrap theme that is the basis of our uh, HTML and front-end, so this is how it looks in home space theme by Colorlib, by the way. This is awesome company that creates a lot of uh, bootstrap themes, so I recommend that. And uh, another source of our uh, of our initial idea is Hirespace.com, venue management uh, website. And this is how it looks on their website in real life. So also, pretty similar actually, structurally, if you think about it. Uh, so name, photo, or a few photos, some descriptions, some features, then gallery, and then some more descriptions, and on the right, phone and contact venue. So pretty similar. And what we will try to achieve in this video is uh, recreate that. So this is a uh, original HTML. We will, we will create that, sorry, in a blade in Laravel. So name, main picture, some details here, descriptions, uh, and gallery. For gallery probably the, I'm not sure if we fit it in. Uh, also related properties, I'm not sure if we actually need that but we will try to do related properties by locations or event types. And finally on the right side there is contact agent but probably I will leave that series without any uh, kind of continuation of what happens with that property after after it's viewed because it's totally individual. You may extend that project into booking the actual property like purchasing something or you can leave a phone number or as in here you just leave the, uh, the email uh, form. So that could be potentially a separate web project on its own. So for that I won't get into details into this series. For now I'll just leave like random phone number. Uh, but the one thing that I would want to implement, which is in higher space, but it's not in the home space theme, home space theme is maps. So Google Maps, we will implement Google Maps embed uh, because we do have coordinates in our database. So let's go to create our view. And we'll get back to the code and let's start with route. What do we have in routes? We do have the route already, so venue slug ID venue controller show, but it doesn't exist. So venue controller doesn't exist, and let's create that first. So we'll do php artisan make controller venue controller venue controller, and this will be only with one method called show. So public method oh, public function sorry show and it will be slug id slug and id let's have some space and venue equals venue where slug equals slug and where id equals id uh, first or fail and as in last lesson i'm not sure if you watch that uh, first or fail means uh, it will return first venue or uh, show 404 page if it fails. And we'll return view venue with compact venue. And probably we need to add some relationships here. So venue with uh, event types because we need those. Uh, and that's it for now, I think. And let's have a view page. We will copy and paste that from uh, from event type, for example, event type, save as venue, right, and instead of venues for event type, what we actually need is this, and we will copy that from the original theme from HTML, I have that in Sublime, it is HTML file property details. So, below all the header, all the navigation we have this one so this is the header and we just blindly copy and paste related properties to probably that's it so we don't need anything else let's try it out so copy and paste venue blade and let's see if it actually works so we should have the URL not sure if it would work yeah it does work so this one 
uh, image is missing, which is fine, we'll fix that. Some, some styling issues, no images, but that's fine. I think if the image exists, it will uh, fix all the other issues. Let's look at the original. Yeah, it does look similar. That image is missing, every image is missing, and therefore it's, it looks kind of wrong. But we'll fix that one by one. So let's add the real data here first. Uh, venue title, venue name it is here. So venue name. Here we have price. So venue price per hour. And just from that we should see the results here. Right, yeah, we have good numbers. And then property details of is a static text. And this background should be image, which should come from uh, Spotty Media Library, which gives us venue uh, get first media URL uh, photo from what I remember, or main photo. Let's refresh and see that. No photo is missing. I think it's main photo. Is it loading? No, it's not loading. Oh, actually, it does, it does load. It just was a little delay. So, yeah, we have photo now. We have uh, this will be main photo and uh, thumbnail. So, similar here will be main photo. It's a slider now. Oh, it's a slider. Okay. We'll have slider from one image then. First, main photo thumb, I think it is. No, big thumb. Uh, actually, let's check it. So venue and add media conversion, big thumb it is, yeah. Uh, main photo, big thumb, out image, out would be venue name. Okay, and let's remove all of those. And let's see if it shows. Yep, it shows the original picture, thumbnail by 500. And this is the price, which is wrong, so we need to fix that with venue price per hour. And in those parts, we we'll probably actually let's leave it empty um, because we have all the other properties a little, little down below. So this is not relevant. Home type. Uh, we need to have event types, and we will copy that. So event types location and people number or people amount. So people amount will be venue people minimum dash venue people maximum. Location will be venue location name and we need to add that uh, to avoid n plus one queries in Eloquent. So always load, it's called eager loading, load the relationship with the uh, uh, controller, with the model. And then we have location name, and here we will have venue uh, types, and I will copy that from event type blade here, this one. Uh, it's from the last lesson, so collection uh, Event types is a relationship, then we're plucking all the names of event types, transforming that into array, and then doing that comma separated. Let's see if it shows correct data. Yep, we have price, this is empty, and this is the event types, locations, and people amounts. And if there were more than one event type, it would be comma separated. More info, we have description, so paragraph, and then uh, venue description. I think it's empty in our case, in our seeders, so we won't be able to actually test it. Let's see in the database. So venues, yeah, all our descriptions are empty, but let's add something. Uh, Lorem ipsum. And then let's test. Right, it's working, so everything is good. Now we'll get to gallery. Gallery is a bit more tricky because we don't have anything seeded for gallery. So we need to manually go and add uh, gallery photos. And for that, for the first time in this course, we get back to our admin panel. 
which we've created just in lesson one, uh, in part one for creating the database structure. So now if we go to uh, our domain and log in, uh, and do admin admin com password is password. That's default from our quick admin panel. Uh, we should land on the home page, which throws an error. And I will show you why, because we had overridden the home page of that admin panel. So if we go to our home controller for admin, uh, we have view home, which is now currently our home page. So we need to create a separate admin home. Uh, so admin home blade home blade and we will fill that in with default quick admin panel home text which is this one I've just prepared it copied and pasted from elsewhere just don't pay attention it's a layout for admin if you want to take a look at that go to quick admin panel and try it out for now I won't stop it here because that page is not really relevant we refresh the admin home page and we should see this and this is what is actually what we care about venue list uh, simple list and if we click edit on any of them actually on the exact one we need uh, we have gallery we use drop zone js for that and we can upload the photos so i click here and we open all those photos for example let's upload four of them from the initial theme so those four images are the same as as in the original home space theme we save those and they are saved with Spati Media Library and Media Database Table and in storage folder on the server. And to show them here, uh, we need to do for each loop. We open up Venue Blade again. And this is everything is ready for us to uh, have that uh, JavaScript effect of clicking the image and the slider goes left and right. We just need to fill in with data. So instead of those hard coded divs, we do for each, and I've uh, found the syntax in Spotty Media Library uh, documentation. This is get media, and I know from my memory it, that it has parameter of collection name. So in our case, for each venue, get media gallery. Gallery is the collection name as gallery item, for example, and for each ends here, and we delete all the other hard-coded photos from here actually end for each and then we replace this one with gallery item item again back to documentation get full URL so this one get full URL and we need the parameter of uh, thumb so thumbnail actually let's leave it as get full URL and let's see how it looks get full URL and also image. So funny thing, uh, in the original theme there was no additional thumb, it was the same size uh, loading both in the in the small version and on click. Uh, we change image to venue name uh, for example, I don't know, uh, 01 or 02, we should go loop uh, index, actually it's not index, it's it's called iteration. So I've Googled meanwhile the documentation of Laravel. So inside of every for each in blade, you have loop variable with these properties. So you have index which starts from zero uh, of the loop, index of the loop, or iteration. So iteration is exactly what we need. So iteration will be the name of the image. Alt, alt text. And let's refresh and see if it actually works. Fingers crossed. Yay, we have four images exactly uploaded and I click left and right and the slider works everything is good so now we took care of the gallery final thing in this lesson will be related properties and that is relatively easy because it's uh, it's pretty similar to what we've done in the last lesson in the listings of the properties we almost can copy and paste uh, so instead of instead of contact agent no wait uh, where is the related properties here so instead of this we can copy and paste the same loop as in event type, for example, blade for each venues. I think it's identical actually. So for each venues, we have this. And for each related venues. So related venues would be a different 
uh, array or collection of objects. So in venue controller, we have related venues as related venues, uh, for example, from the same location. So venue where uh, location ID equals venue location ID but where not equals so where ID not equals venue ID uh, take three take three and get I think that is the syntax uh, and we pass that to related venues also we need with because it uses event types with event types uh, and I think that is that is it. So inside of that, for each, for those of you who didn't see previous lessons inside of related menus, we click the link, we form the link to venues show, we show first media URL of main photo, and we show more details, including event types and people minimum maximum. Let's refresh the page and fingers crossed it would work. Yep, so related properties, uh, it's not the same as the one we want. So it found three properties and if we click on that one, it should show us that other one, it works, and related properties, and that the one that we showed below, it was uh, this one, so ID number four. And I think that's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, in the final lesson, I think it's uh, at the final stages now, we will take care of Google Maps, and we will take care of the cleanup. So menu items on top, footer, uh, and stuff like paragraph here. Actually, I will leave this one static because as I said, it may be very different from project to project. Uh, and uh, basically, this will be the final lesson next uh, video, which should be published tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And in the final lesson, at the end of it, there will be a GitHub uh, repository link where I will put everything uh, on GitHub. Stay tuned.